hi guys welcome back so in this video session i am going to discuss about the live project that we are going to set up using the eml cicd pipelines in the azure devops i am going to implement this project from the scratch and for the deployment part from the build to deployment i am going to use the eml pipeline scripting in the azure devops and you will get a fair idea about how you can deploy your applications to the deployment server using the eml cicd pipeline if you want to learn the azure devops end to end and if you want to deploy your applications from starting to end then this project will help you to understand the deployment process i am providing the complete steps and in the video sessions you will get idea how you can use the eml pipeline concept to implement your live project so let's get started so suppose you are working in a team and in the teams we know there are some developers who are writing the code for the applications the developers are writing the code in the java based applications they are writing the code in the asp.net php html any type of the programming language they are using to write the application code and after that once the code is ready they want to push the code to the centralized source code repository management tool so they can use the multiple cloud based source code management tool like the github bitbucket and the azure repository so for our project i am going to use the azure repository azure repository is a service which is provided by the azure devops and this is the part of the azure devops where we are keeping our source code as a repository and once the developer is done the code then they push the code to the azure repository now we have the code in the azure repository and for that i have prepared the one videos to understand the pushing the code to the azure repository you can fork the project in your github account and then you can push the code to the azure repository so i have provided a detailed step in the video sessions once we have the azure repository code then we are going to switch to the azure pipelines in the azure pipeline services we are going to create the pipelines that we call the ci pipeline or the build pipeline and that pipelines i am going to create with the eml scripting language i am also creating the same pipeline with the classic editor pipelines and that will be help you to understand the concept and the design method and once you understand the all the design methods or the steps to implement the ci cd pipelines then you can easily design your pipelines with the eml once our pipeline is ready okay that we have designed with the eml format then we can pull the code from the azure repository we need to specify the branch also so there are the multiple branches like master branch or the individual branch based on the developers and we can specify the branch name so as a source branch i am using the master branch that is configured for this project and then we pull the code to the yaml cicd pipeline now we have pulled the code from the source code repository now we want to build this code so to build the code we need some build management tool and for that i am going to use the maven so maven is a build management tool which will help us to build the code we will add the maven as a task in the eml cicd pipelines and where we are running the eml cicd pipelines that is the microsoft hosted agent as the earlier and in the microsoft hosted agent it is going to build the code and after once the building is completed then we are ready to publish and the download the artifacts so artifacts are basically files those are generated after the building the project like the dot war files and your have folder files that we will use to deploy into the particular environment on the given server so first we will add the publish the artifact task into the ci cd pipeline and after that we will add the download the artifact task in the ci cd pipeline and there are the two types of the artifacts that you can capture the one is the 
um, build artifact second is the pipeline artifact task so here we will use the pipeline artifact task there are also the build artifact that you can also add into the yaml cicd pipelines but i prefer to use the pipeline artifact task so by using the pipeline publish artifact task you can publish the artifact and to download the artifact you can use the download pipeline artifact now it will generate the artifact so this setup i have done first with the microsoft hosted agent that has already uh, set up the vm machines by the microsoft and on that vm machines i have done all this process now the problem is that if we are trying to access the microsoft hosted agent we are not able to access the the project where we are going to deploy we need to prepare our own agent machine and that we call as the self hosted machine and in real time scenario you need to create your own agent machine or your own vm machine so for that you can use the azure vm machines you can use the google services and you can use the aws ec2 instance so in our project i am going to create the aws ec2 instance machine and this machine is the linux vm machines where we are going to deploy our code and we are going to set up the tomcat on that vm machine as the apache tomcat server is the deployment server where we have the web apps folder and into the web apps folder i am going to deploy our dot war file which is generated or created by the maven and this tomcat server machines as we have set up on the aws ec2 linux machine so this will behave like a self hosted agent and this pipeline artifacts we are going to deploy on this tomcat server also so now we are not going to work with the microsoft hosted agent and now we have our own self hosted agent and this self hosted agent i will work as a agent for our yaml cicd pipelines so we will change the agent machine information to this tomcat server this is the self hosted agent but how it will do so suppose we have the azure devops and azure devops how you can deploy to the tomcat server or the external agent for that we i am going to create the service connection and the service connection called as the ssh service connection so ssh will help you to deploy our war file yaml cicd pipelines to tomcat server and our tomcat server is ready to deploy the war files and this also behave like a self hosted agent so this is the aws ec2 instance machines where we are going to set up all these things and finally we will able to access the dot dot war files and our applications so once all the war file is configured and deployed to the web apps folder correctly then we are able to access the applications by providing the ip address of this linux machine so this is the all the pro live project that i'm going to show in this sections and this is the one real time applications and i have the one demo project that you can fork from the github repository as you can go with the uh, course and definitely at the end of this course you will get an idea how to deploy our war file using the yaml pipelines or the classic editor pipelines in azure devops you will get a fair idea about how to create the aws ec2 instance and how to create the service connections over the ssh so this is the complete project structures which we are going to discuss and implement step by step so thank you